Orange Street, and Pa Don Dunlop. Assassin and Joe Marbles. Yeah. 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 Made of honor, the best man. Natasha Asselstein and Wally Green. Yeah. And next, the best looking couple there today, the flower girl and Ray Barra, Naya Suri and, and Dylan Harris. Yeah. Dylan Harris. Actually, I've seen some of you at the karaoke's. So, think of a song with love in it. With love in it, and then they'll get up and kiss for you if you if you want to see them kiss. Okay. Also, I didn't introduce myself. I am Colin's best brother. My name is Kim Marples, and I will be the MC tonight. Come on, you can do better than that. I'm going to be back and I got Max. Now we're coming. Okay, at this time I'd like to introduce Marilyn's daughter in law, Rochelle Asselstein, to take to say grace. Thank you, Kim. May we all bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, dear Lord, we thank you for all of the family and friends who have been able to join us for this celebration especially those who have come from afar. I would like to bring up uh, Colin's brother, Larry. Hey, that means he's my brother, too. And his sister, Sheila King. Yes, she's coming up as well. And I, I, you know what? Mom always loved you best, Larry. It even says here, Mom loves you best. I didn't write that down. Who wrote that down? I'd like to welcome Marilyn into the family. Not that she hasn't always been part of the family. And uh, the first thing I'd like to say is, uh, on a more serious note, is uh, about my dad. And my dad, Albert Marcos, who is... I want a copy of that. He's not with us anymore, but I'm sure he's watching. Would be very proud of this moment and very happy to see how proud Marilyn is to take on the Marple's name and which he gave to all of us, all you Marple. I got married so I wouldn't have to be a Marple's anymore. <laughs> He 
because they called us Marbleheads. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate Colin and Marilyn and everybody in this family, which we are now a family, and say welcome to the family, Marilyn, and we love you, we've always loved you, and we've always considered you my sister-in-law, and hope you have a wonderful life for the rest of your life, not only another 19 years. Woo! Until you're 100. Thank you. You've been so far too long. Not only decades, but a millennium. <laughs> Things have changed. That contract you signed at the uh, church, there's now something called a Schedule A. <laughs> a Schedule A. It's an addendum to the agreement of marriage. You don't sign it. Marilyn does. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of fun print. So I made one with, her large, with larger print so you can read it. <laughs> I'll turn the mic over to you. Go slow so everybody can understand what you're committing to. Okay, we're done for you. Oh, I got two more. Right here. Application for a night out with the boys. All right. uh, they have my name down as the applicant. I request permission for a leave of absence for the highest authority in my life for the following period. How come it's blank? Oh, I see. Should permission be granted, I do solemnly swear to only visit the location stated below at the stated times I agree to refrain from hitting on or flirting with other women I shall not even speak to another female Except, as expressly permitted in writing below, I will not turn off my cell phone after two pints, nor shall I consume above the allowed volume of alcohol without first phoning for a taxi and calling you for a verbal waiver of said alcohol allowance. I understand that even if permission is granted to go out, my, oh sorry, wife refrains the right to be pissed, or retains the right to be pissed off with me the following week for no reason whatsoever. Yes! <laughs> now, now all these wine, beer, liquor, talk, no, this is all blank. Uh, That's what she fills in, tells you how much you can drink while you're I see. Uh, locations to be visited, has to be filled in by her also. Females with whom conversation is permitted. I've already filled in nil. <laughs> Sorry, Snap, I can't talk to you when we go to drink anymore. Okay, there is a stripper clause here. <laughs> Notwithstanding, the female contract contact permitted above, I promise to refrain from coming within 100 feet of a stripper or exotic dancer. Violation of this stripper clause shall be grounds for immediate termination of the relationship and all items and monies owned shall be forfeited. 
I'd like to know who the hell wrote this up. I really. I acknowledge my position in life. I know who's wearing the trousers in our relationship. And I agree, and I agree it's not me. Take your hand, everybody! I promise to abide by your rules and regulations. I understand that that is going to cost me a fortune in chocolates and flowers. You shall reserve the right to obtain and use my credit cards whenever you wish to do so. I hereby promise to make you, or oh, to take you to Michelle Oh, Michael Bowden Kronzer. Who the hell is that? I want that changed to George Jones, okay? Should I not return home by the approved time, I will not pick up a, pick a fight with any stranger, nor shall I conduct in-depth con discussions with the said en en entity. Upon my return home, I promise not to urinate, <laughs> urinate anywhere other than the toilet. In addition, I will refrain from waking you up, breathing my vile breath on your face, and, and attempting to breathe like a drunken rabbit. I declare that the best of my knowledge, of which I have none compared to my better half, <laughs> that the above information is correct. And if you want me to sign this, actually I spent nine years on this contract and it wasn't signed. But, uh, you know, in ancient times, just shortly before Colin was born, brave English knights used to fight other knights for the hand of the beautiful princess. Well, here we are several centuries later, and uh, witnessing another English knight fighting for, who has fought five brothers, two sisters, uh, one frisky mother, <laughs> and not to mention two of her children, just to win her hand. And, uh... It's my honor and my privilege to welcome Colin to our family. <laughs> I just wanted to share something else that I found, or we found, at breakfast this morning. <laughs> at the restaurant that the guys were supposed to meet and the women weren't supposed to be near. It says, hi sweetheart, good morning to you and all my boys. I will see you in four hours. So she was there four hours before this wedding when we were supposed to be there. Uh, yeah, don't be nervous. Everything will be okay, Colin. Today is the day I will prove how much I love you. Keep smiling. Love, Marilyn Asselstein. And on the back, it says, now you can actually finish this. It says, soon to be Mrs. C. And then it's got marbles, but missing a couple of letters. <laughs> Short, hopefully sweet. Thanks, guys, for making me your gopher, I mean, coordinator for the wedding. I appreciate that. It's been fun. And all I gotta say is, Colin, you put a sparkle in that woman's eyes like I've never seen before. You've kept it there for a long time. And it's sparkling so bright today. We all here love you very much. Both of you. Congratulations. If you like to take the brain to a lonely house that once was home, sweet home, I have nothing here to sell you. Okay, Billy, call. Buddy. Buddy, no. I knew when I heard you guys were getting married that you must have had sleepless nights thinking about who was going to be your best man and uh, don't worry, I'm not pissed off you never picked me. 
Thank you. You've done a great job tonight. I want to thank you very much. Tash, Wally Rugg, all the work you put in, the Jack and Jill in this wedding, Tammy, the girls, the bridesmaids, Steve, Keith, uh, Joey and Jimmy, they've done just one hell of a job and I'd like to thank them personally very much. Thank you guys. On behalf of Marilyn and myself, we'd like to thank all our friends. And you are our friends, and you proved it by coming here tonight to enjoy this wonderful day with us. We'd like to thank you very much for being here tonight with us. Thank you very much. All right. We know, we know where she is, no matter who. If we're in the same building, you will know where she is. You follow this class anywhere. Marilyn, you're beautiful. You make beautiful. I love you, though, and you're beautiful. And would you please come up and say a few words? And give me a hug. No, you got to come up here. Up the stairs, please. Yeah, I am. Is she beautiful? Uh, Go ahead. 